the proprietor of LVMH, Bernard Arnault, is a millionaire who presides over a massive empire that is comprised of 70 high-end fashion and cosmetic businesses, including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. The amount of money that Bernard Arnault is now worth has been steadily growing over the last several years. At the moment, he is the fourth wealthiest person on the face of the earth. As of the 13th of June in 2022, Forbes estimates that he has a net worth of $158 billion. Arnault, the chairman of LVMH, is in charge of the half of the firm that is responsible for the stunning revenue of $55.3 billion, and he controls this half. Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton, Tag Heuer watches, Dom Perignon Champagne, Sephora, and Fenty, amongst others, are some of the businesses that fall under his wing as a businessman. In this video, we'll talk about Bernard Arnault's lifestyle. Before starting this video subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Bernard Arnault is the richest person in the world at the present time. French business entrepreneur Bernard Arnault is at the helm of luxury goods conglomerate LVMH mode Hennessy Louis Vuitton, where he serves in the dual roles of chairman and chief executive officer. Since 1989, he has served as the CEO of the company, which is widely regarded as the most prosperous maker of luxury products in the whole globe. Bernard Arnault, a brief historical perspective. Arnault attended the École Polytechnique in Paris, France and received his degree as an engineer there. He began his career in the construction industry by joining the Ferret, Savinal firm, which was owned by his father. In 1978, he was elected to the position of chairman of the firm and also oversaw its rebranding as Ferran Elink, with an emphasis placed squarely on the real estate market. Arnaud was an employee of the corporation until the year 1984. The acquisition of Boussac Saint, Frères needed a total investment of 80 million US dollars, of which he contributed 15 million US dollars from his own riches. As Boussac Saint, Frères was the owner of the Christian Dior fashion business at the time. This event served as a turning point in his career. Arnold's personal life is complicated by the presence of his second wife, Helene Mercier, in his family. The names of his children are Delphine, Antoine, Alexander. Frederick, and Jean. He also has a wife named Jean. Each of the five is connected to LVMH in some way, shape, or form. LVMH and its ascent to the top. In 1987, Arnaud began making investments in LVMH after receiving a request to do so from Henri Rackemeyer, who was acting as chairman of the corporation at the time. Arnaud was a member of the LVMH board of directors. Of 1989, Arnaud overtook Rackemeyer to become the largest owner in LVMH mode Hennessy Louis Vuitton, which is commonly shortened to LVMH. LVMH is an acronym for Louis Vuitton mode Hennessy. The transformation of LVMH into the worldwide giant that it is today is largely due to Arnaud, who is regarded as the wolf in the cashmere coat. Givenchy, Celine, Berluti, Christian Lacroix, Sephora, Fendi, and Tiffany and Amp Co are just few of the illustrious fashion and luxury lifestyle brands that he was instrumental in bringing under the umbrella of the firm. He also had a crucial part in the acquisition of these companies. The money generated by each and every one of the companies that are housed under the LVMH umbrella is the key factor that has contributed to Arnold's immense riches. If you enjoy watching this video make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Where does Arnaud put his money, and how does he spend it? Luxury items such as private jets and mega yachts. He is the proud owner of the luxury yacht symphony. In 2015, he parted ways with his luxury boat, which had been named Amadeus and had been constructed in 1969. Arnaud does not simply sail the seas, he also travels throughout the globe in elegant fashion. It is said that his personal aircraft, a Dassault Falcon 7X, set him back 40 million US dollars. Arnaud also has an ultra, long, range Bombardier Global 7500 in his fleet in addition to this aircraft, thus it is not the only one he owns. Earlier in his life, he was the proud owner of a Bombardier Global Express 6000. Private Island with Residences on it Arnaud is the owner of a private island in the Bahamas that spans 135 acres. 
Indigo Island is the name of the vacation spot in the Caribbean. It is not known for certain if Arno travels to his own island in Symphony, which might circumnavigate the waters. The CEO of LVMH has a home in Paris, which is the location of the company's main office and headquarters. It is said that he has invested over 96 million US dollars in the purchase of residential homes in a number of locations in Los Angeles, California, in affluent communities such as Beverly Hills, Truesdale Estates, and Hollywood Hills. However, his beachfront property in Saint Tropez, France, designed in the manner of a chateau, is the one that most accurately represents his status as the wealthiest man on the planet. The enormous property has many bedrooms in addition to a theater, an outdoor swimming pool, and a tennis court. In addition, there is a separate area for the personnel to live. Art Collection In addition to that, Arnaud is famous for the large art collection he has amassed over the years. It is possible that his flat in Paris has artworks by renowned artists such as Andy Warhol, Jean, Michel Basquiat, Damien Hirst, and Pablo Picasso, amongst others. The whole of the collection is worth many millions of dollars, making it very valuable. That is it for today. We took a look at Bernard Arnault's lifestyle. Hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for upcoming future alerts.